Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Foundation. So where we left off is we were having a little bit of an issue uh, because of my placement of the sheep farms. I had forgotten about this little extension it coming out quite so far and things weren't happening the way I wanted them to. So I decided to get rid of this particular sheep farm and move it down just a little bit. And that seems to have ignited everything. You can see we've got tons of clothes right now. Uh, that need to be sold so that means we need to come back over to um, our selections here and we'll put we'll put clothing in all of this uh, let's see there we go here's our other one. Oh, wait a minute now that is an interesting way of doing that so not sure if that's a bug or what because I was a little surprised because normally you only get one slot, is what I'm used to anyway. I don't remember seeing two slots in the past, but uh, it appears as though what it might have done is combine these two. I'm not sure. Uh, it still only shows one of one. Oh, wait, there it is. There we go. So I missed completely missed that. Um, okay, so we're good. I'm not sure why it's showing that way. Uh, but let's see, fish, we're not... We're not in the business of fish. Um, also, one thing I did just before I started recording is I have lined up uh, yet another treasury to be built, getting us up to 1,100 of gold that we can uh, that we can stash away. So now, uh, let's see. We are done. We need to spawn some sheep, and we're going to spawn four, and that's the most we can do before the abuse. Uh, reminder comes up so I think we're okay now you see once again uh, the sheep are roaming around as they are wont to do here in the game okay now we need a warehouse um, and let's see warehouse 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 let's try to put it about let's put it about right there Uh, that should be good. And wow, you can see we're already up at or near uh, the maximum there. So we're good. Our house is upgrading. There we go. Now, the reason it's upgrading is because we are now providing clothing. Clothing is the key thing here. You can see we got plenty of clothing. Um, and in fact, we need to open up that trade route if at all possible. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to come over while these guys are working on this, we've got tons of clothing that is being worked on. All of this is happening uh, at a great pace. So what we're going to do is we got tons of unemployed workers. Now, granted, you can, if at any point you want to, you can turn off the immigration. Simply uncheck this box. Uh, for our purposes, I'm not going to. But you see houses upgrading, and they are going to add in a stone to the construction on the level three. So that's what you see going on there. All right, let's go ahead and add another uh, wheat farm. And we are gonna add this wheat farm. Let's see, I tell you what, before we do that. All right, let's go ahead and, and get all of this land set up to be part of our wheat farm. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and, and get rid of that part. We'll try to keep it fairly standard in size uh, for now. Uh, so, okay, so we've got this land. I think we'll be in good shape with that. Okay, whoops, wrong one. Let's come back in. Wheat farm, um, and we are going to put it about right there and then we're going to come in and uh, let's see let's do another windmill do we need another windmill uh, we might as well right now we might as well so let's put it over here alongside our other one there we go and then we're going to bring in yet another bakery.
There we go. That should give a little bit of room there. And now you can see, oh, look at these guys. They're just going to spread out, and we're just going to plant stuff everywhere we can plant it, which is perfectly fine with me. All right, so we spent quite a bit of money, you can see. Our gold is down. It was just below 700 for a minute. Now it's recovering somewhat. And we'll certainly hope that continues. Uh, let's see. We need to assign some workers. All right, and here we want to put clothes and wool. And we're going to do the same thing here, clothes and wool, because that's, I want this to be dedicated to that very thing. So hopefully, in this process of creating this additional workspace um, for more production of bread, we'll be able to unlock the trade routes. Because you can see right now, we're doing great even without it. But we certainly want to add that in. Um, and along with that, let's come back over and... Actually, let's go ahead and assign some more soldiers. Let's edit once again, and let's do a treasury. I'm sure there is a large treasury. There we go. And let's go ahead and put one more in there and start that construction. So we will continue to expand our treasury and hopefully it will enable us to greatly uh, expand our colony or village in the near future because we've got a lot of people we need to put to work. But right now, more than anything, uh, we need to get busy. Look at this guy down here. Both of them. I mean, we got two people that are down here just slinging bread everywhere. Flour is flying. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is... That is some serious... Let's slow this down a little bit and see what this looks like. Okay, so not quite as bad, but uh, yeah. Yeah, he is working hard on that bread. Okay, we're up to 78 people. Uh, let's see. We, are, we have 15 villagers that are lacking in uh, the faith department, which would be the church. And then 12 villagers lacking in food, for real. Okay, so they are lacking in uh, food. There is a nice level two house. All right, so let's actually pause things just for a moment here. So we've got some people that are missing out on some food. Uh, let's click on them and see what's going on. All right, so water. And actually, it looks like we're pretty good on berries and bread. Now, we're about to greatly expand bread anyway. Uh, so let's actually put uh, some additional berry gathering uh, huts over here. And so we'll put this one... We'll put a couple more over here. Right there. Okay, and then we're also going to put uh, some additional wells in the area. I'm going to put one right over here near the market. Uh, of course, we've got one already right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put one. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put one like right here. Okay, let's get things going once again. And our builders will get busy on that. I'm going to go ahead and drop another builder in there. Uh, we need some more housing. So then the question becomes, where do we put additional housing? And do we want to go ahead and purchase more territory? Now, the answer to that is yes, we do, because we want to get to this iron down here. But do we want to do it now? Uh, and sure, why not? There we go. So we've just taken care of that. Now that will give us the ability to expand into the ironworks. So we'll have iron mines. Uh, then we'll have coal huts, which will need uh, some 
uh, some wood for that. Okay, windmill has just been completed. All right, so everything, wow, I mean, everything is, is coming along uh, quite nicely here. Quite nicely. We've got quite a, a bit of construction that is up and running. We've got our clothing um, is doing well uh, to this point. Uh, let's see how these guys are doing. Do we have anything stored currently? Yes, we do have a little bit of wool in here, but that's it. So we need to expand that uh, under our trade. Let's take a look. Where are we on tools? Let's go ahead. I want to go up to 20. Let's make sure we've got plenty. Uh, and then in the future, we'll be able uh, to take care of that. But for right now, I want to make sure that we've got what we need. Workplace list. Let's look. Our gathering hut. Okay, let's go ahead and put all three that it can use in there. Uh, stone cutters. We know why we got rid of that. Wheat farm. How many unemployed does that give us? And then windmill. Okay, now we're up and running once again on that. And we've so we've got two unemployed, and of course that's just way too perfect there. But I'm not going to do it. And the reason I'm not going to do it is because what I actually want to do right here is I want to further expand uh, what we are doing. So let's go ahead and get another sheep farm. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm keeping track on our money, uh, but our money right now is doing great. And of course, we've got expansions already uh, in place for more of a treasury, a bigger treasury. And let's see, uh, we've got 200 for a weaver hut. That should not be an issue. So let's go ahead and we're going to put this guy... We're going to back this guy up a little bit. And this is probably, well, I don't know. I was going to say it's going to make the roads look a lot uglier than they need to be, but uh, I think we can all agree this is certainly not a well-designed layout as it is now. So we're not going to worry about that. All right, this should be enough room, so we'll put one there. And I'm not sure we're actually going to need another tailor, uh, but we might. Let's see, deliver five. Nope, we're not delivering anything to anybody just yet. Not until we get that trade opened up. Okay, so we know what the unemployed workers are going to be doing. Okay, everything going good so far. All right, let's go ahead and go back to our extraction. Because what we're going to do is set up extraction for wood, because we're going to need wood uh, down in this area as well. And let's see, that should be pretty good. All that room in there. And everything else I believe is going to be okay. Might as well go ahead and add this in. Okay, that'll take care of that. Uh, let's go ahead and put, as we start our work down here, and again, you're gonna, you can see we're going to need some money uh, to do this. The good news is, uh, so far, so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with, uh, actually we want the mine. And where do we come in? We want to come in on this side. Uh, this is very hard to place. I'm going to actually put one right there. So we've got the iron mine that's going to be coming in there. And then we're going to need a smelter. that we're gonna, gonna wanna put in uh, this same area. 
All right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to let this go ahead and get finished right here because if I don't, uh, I might run into the same situation I did right up here with uh, the sheep. All right, farm field. I tell you what, I don't know that we're going to need any of that stone anytime soon. So I'm going to go ahead and line up all of this as farm field. And that is huge. Looks like if we continue expanding this way, there's some more land over there. Very good to know. Okay, what about our reforestation up here? Uh, we've got, actually, I see these guys chopping these down, so maybe we don't have to worry about it. Uh, the overlapping of these. Uh, that would be very nice if we didn't. Okay, that looks good. Our money is flowing once again. We're up over 1400 so we're nearing the maximum. Uh, but we need some more housing. That is the big thing we're dealing with right now. So let's go ahead and pause this right quick. Uh, we know farming is over here. This is where we're going to be farming. Uh, so housing, I suppose, could come right down through here. And along with that, I'm going to need to get another church. Uh, so let's go ahead and just, let's queue all of this up. Let's get a church and start out with a door. I don't particularly care which door, but we're going to start out with a door right about there. And then we're going to do a, we're going to do one, two, Uh, get off of there so I can turn it. There we go. Um, I tell you what, maybe, let's see what it looks like over here. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. That's going to be huge. Uh, now we need to put a tower on there. We'll put the tower over here. Yeah, we'll put it on the front there. Capacity of 60. I like it. Let's start the construction. And let's see, let's go ahead and speed things back up. So we're going to have a nice sized church there. That should once again extend uh, the green area. Okay, very nice. We need two weavers here. And let's see, we need a shepherd here. Spawn four sheep before it tries to make us feel bad about spawning any more sheep. All right, I like it. I uh, haven't put another tailor in right now because I don't know that we need it. Uh, but if we want, if we need to, we can certainly put another one down here. That's not going to be a problem. Work has started on the iron mine. Okay, how are we on bread? Uh, actually, in our trading area here, we are not good. We are using quite a bit of bread, apparently, uh, in our market areas. Yes, they are completely out. Wow, that is big time. Uh, so yeah, we can use basically as many of these products as we can make right now. Wow. Okay, so you can see our happiness is going down. Now, this is actually good that this has happened um, because it gives me an opportunity to talk about what happens if the happiness gets too low. We will actually start to see, and I don't think it's happened yet, uh, but who knows, I could have easily missed it. We will start to see people leaving. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Hopefully that won't happen, but you just never know. All right, I am very excited to see these trees being cut down in a reforested area. That is very nice. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get some more housing. Uh, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong area. Residential. Let's see. So we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and line that up. Not the prettiest, but I think that'll work. Okay, that should give them a little bit more room to expand. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's just let this go all the way down here. Because we're going to need uh, some workers as we continue to expand out. And at this point, I haven't even really thought of where we're going to go beyond uh, the, the route down here to get to the iron. So we've got housing being worked on. Uh, let's come up and see. Are we maxed out? No, we are not maxed out here. Okay, also you see that um, some of these people that are being uh, brought in are simply named male or female rather than uh, an actual name. Just part of the game with where we are right now. Uh, but we're going to right now focus on trying to continue expanding our uh, food sources. Uh, it looks like we're actually running a little bit low on on wood. Do we have any areas that can use that wood? Oh, the iron mine. All right, we got two people left. Is that right? Yes, just two people. So we'll put those two people in there. And looks like everybody else. Oh, we got our bakery. We've got two new villagers, so that's good. But again, we have to continue working on this to figure out where in the world we're going to put them. Because we are at 86 right now. And you can see we have uh, serfs, commoners, and citizens. So we're doing pretty good as far as this goes. Lots of housing being worked on. Of course, the church is being worked on as well. Uh, let's see how many uh, you can see the villagers are already uh, going into the, the portions of the church that are completed so that's going to help out there and let's see food and actually clothing is still an issue all right so we do need another tailor i believe because we're starting All right, so let's go ahead and put a tailor right over here. And we are going to drop, let's see, they are building everywhere down in here. And I really, really want to put a well in the area. Uh, let's see, we've got... A well right there, which is good. Uh, and I really want to put one down in this area, but I'm a little scared to since we've got construction going on. And I'm not sure how all that's going to line up. So we're going to hold off on that. All right, we got two more workers that have appeared. Uh, these two more are going to go to the bakery. So now that gets us all filled up on, on bread. Our capacity should be maxed out uh, here shortly on that. Uh, the iron mine, we still got work to do. The treasury still needs a couple more soldiers for our expansion. Uh, stone cutters, we, are, we have tons and tons of stone, so we could really get rid of some of those workers. All right, they're wanting fish once again, so nothing doing there. Uh, I tell you what, let's go ahead and get rid of all three of these guys so that I can move them around uh, a little bit more. And let's see, so we need some some more soldiers there. Let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. And then our iron mine. Okay, that, that gets us one more person in the iron mine. Uh, we also have our pathway. 
up through here, which means that I can now have a better idea of what we need to do. So now we need a smelter uh, and we also need a coal hut. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put, let's see, let's put the coal hut right about there. And then we're going to put the smelter who is going to need both of these items. Right about there. And then finally the blacksmith is going to be right over in here. And I'm trying to space them out fairly good. Uh, we'll see ultimately how good of a job I did on that. And we also need to set up some lumber camps. Um, and I want to do that, let's see. I want to do that probably, I would really like to do it very much closer down here. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Let's go ahead and put one right there. So now we've got tons and tons of stuff that needs to happen. We've got a couple more unemployed people. And we also are going to need a, uh, where are we? A warehouse. Let's see, the warehouse, I'm thinking, let's put the warehouse right in here. Okay, it's a little distance away, not perfect. Uh, but again, I'm trying to keep them fairly evenly spaced. Um, and concentrated in some areas, of course, that that need it. Uh, but once again, we are running a little bit low on time. So I'm going to have to wrap it up here soon. But you can see our happiness is coming back. Uh, we need some more clothing. We're working on that. And we need some more food, oddly enough. Uh, so let's actually take a look. Here's somebody who is not happy. Uh, and why are you not happy? Oh, berries. Okay. So we just need some more berries. Well, it just so happens that we can help you out with that. Uh, let's actually, looks like we've got plenty of berries. So I believe the problem is going to be that we need some more uh, berry markets. So let's go ahead and put... Let's put one right about here. And let's see, we need one more. I'm thinking we need one more down in this area somewhere. And also we've got some berries down here that we can uh, utilize. So i tell you what we're going to do. We are going to put a well since it looks like we're done with construction for the meantime we're going to put a well right here and then we're going to put a a market here for food and we're going to put a market for goods right in the same area Let's start that construction. Money's still doing great. We're right up at the max or thereabouts. Uh, the Taylor's Workshop. Let's go ahead over to that. Let's go ahead and get our tailor set up. And so we'll keep an eye out. Again, we, we have plenty of berries, which leads me to believe that the issue is not how many berries we have, but rather a matter of where they are. Okay, so we've got uh, a few things being constructed. Let's we'll see how we're doing down here at the bottom. We've got, yeah, definitely some construction underway. And I think we're going to end up being okay on this, this lumber camp, I think. But who knows, I might have actually gotten it too close as well. But yeah, a lot going on right now. So we'll have to wait and see how all this turns out when we come back next time. So for now, 
Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay series of Foundation.